my name is Adam Power and I'm Chief Medical Officer at Frontline Medical Technologies. The Cobra OS Corner is meant to help you avoid some of the pitfalls that I've encountered as a vascular surgeon. Today we're going to talk about some tips about ultrasound and the Seldinger technique. When using ultrasound, there are two transverse probe orientations that show the artery and vein. Here in the right groin, the vein is on the wrong side. When you flip the probe around, it is the correct orientation with the artery being lateral to the vein. Orientation is important because the typical compression techniques seen here to tell the difference between the artery and vein doesn't always work in hypotensive patients when the vessels might look and act the same. I always try to find the profunda artery distally and then puncture just above it in the common femoral artery. That way I can avoid going too high above the inguinal ligament or too low in the superficial femoral artery. A good rule of thumb is to always look at where the needle is in relation to the groin crease. If you aren't near the groin crease, make sure you double check before puncturing the artery. Most needles have a marker indicating that the bevel is up like we see here. With the bevel up, the wire slides nicely into the artery. If the bevel position is down, sometimes the wire has resistance and can damage the back wall or even track in the opposite direction than you intend. Double checking that the bevel is up when you have resistance is a good trick. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the first installment of the Cobra OS Corner. Tune in next time to find out why arterial blood flash doesn't always mean successful sheath placement.